Hey, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Technology. But we got it. That is what counts. Can you all let me know if you can hear me? If you can, let me know. If you can't hear me, let me know and we'll fix that too. So, hey everyone, I'm Mandy Hutchinson and, uh, well, I have another guest. It is not Suzanne today. We have Ashley Garapi. So, you can say hello, Ashley. <laughs> hello. And yes, please let me know if you can hear me because, again, all these technical difficulties have us a little, like, frazzled. Yes. Worried. I won't show yeah. you what my little area looks like over here. It's just crazy <laughs> with tripods and lights and all the things. So, we are here today, as you can see from the huge title above us, that we will be doing Gen Cant. Well, we are part of Gen Cant, and we're going to be playing the game Demeter. So, I don't know if Ashley has a box, and maybe I have a box here. I, I do. Oh, you can't see watch. My and I have a, I I have a green screen, so anything green will be weird, but you get an <laughs> idea. So, this is the game we're playing today. There you go. And this is uh, designed by uh, Sorry We Are French. So if Sorry We Are French is in the chat, bonjour, comment allez-vous? Um, Ashley and I both parle the Francais. So if you want a little bit, we can give you a little bit, but this will be mostly in English. So <laughs> there's that. Oh, goodness. Okay. So you know what? I think you've all waited long enough. Ashley is going to be guiding us through the playthrough. I've got my trusty fricks on pens that Suzanne recommended for me. Yes, I ordered these special for this from uh, Amazon. So I'm very excited to use that on my sheet. Make sure you have your trusty sheets that you've downloaded and ready to go. Ashley's will be up on the next screen. We've also put a few things on the screen that Ashley will walk you through. So I think we should get started. People are probably just really wanting to get yeah. going here. Everyone has waited long enough. Let's jump into <laughs> it. Um, so Demeter is, Demeter is a a uh, card-based roll and write game or a flip and write uh, and it's mostly a multiplayer solitaire experience so when the action and the cards come up we can all choose the same one we can all choose different ones we're not restricting each other and the actions that we take so I think we're just gonna sort of flip them up and I'll guide you through what you're gonna do on your sheets and then we'll go through some of the the scoring abilities and whatnot as as we go along but we really just want to jump into yes. it yes right okay. okay so, so I'll, I'll let you keep, keep going. going so I did, I did put, put the game, game screen up, up. Okay, so when you're ready, Mandy, if you could flip a card from Excellent. each of these decks. So each of these different decks represent uh, various things that we'll be doing. Um, we've got blue, which is scientists. We have the gray, which I believe, actually, I don't <laughs> remember what the gray is. Don't get mad. Um, the yellow ones are how we study dinosaurs. The red is how we uh, develop out, uh, observation posts, which all, all of this is just to score points. Like, let's be honest, this is very much a Euro, like, Please, Please excuse use my messy, messy alignment of the, of the cards. cards. I have, I have to, to really reach, reach over to get them <laughs> off the screen. So, so apologies. <laughs> and the purple actually is a research track, and that's actually going to be used to unlock various little, like, bonus abilities, as well as unlock um, access to score objectives. Because within this game, we have... Each of us can score a few things, but we can also unlock our own objectives to score based on how we're playing the game and our strategies. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is choose one of these cards that you want to use. So we've got purple is to go up on the research track. We've got red, which is going to allow us to fill in a dinosaur. Oh, what? pause. Oh. Everybody, you get to fill in a section of a dinosaur of your choice. That's part of the starting setup. So maybe yeah, so you me, two can do that. So I, there was a bit of an echo. So if it's, if it's still there, let me know. I oh, did try and fix it, but let me just pull up my trusty pink pen to start. Okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so you want to just choose a, a portion of a dinosaur to color in. I think I'm going to choose the pterodactyl because I love the pterodactyl. And unfortunately, in case you're wondering why I'm so bad at coloring everybody, it's because as part of our technical issues, my actual pa uh, piece of paper wasn't working. So I've had to download the score sheet and I'm going to be painting okay, on it on I my computer. Okay, I need a minute here. I feel like this is a big decision. Oh, sucky do. Okay, okay. Mandy, your it echo is. is Thank you very now. much. I think I had two things turned yeah. on at the same time. Thank you all for keeping track of the sound. I appreciate it. It shows you care. <laughs> okay, I need decisions here. All right, let me let me do the things. Okay, let's do this one. Any section you say? Yes, of any dinosaur. And now, if you're coloring the sections, you want to make sure to keep the symbol within the dinosaur visible, because that's actually one of our possible objectives that we can unlock. Is if you color uh, in between five and eight or nine or more of the green mm -hmm. sort of footprints you uh that's why i use the pens points. so if it's green with green blue with blue i mean i'm pretty <laughs> jealous mandy my marker is very <laughs> thick and i'm just gonna see if i can change that. <laughs> just like oh. okay okay 
So um, everybody is going to choose one of these uh, cards to use. So I'll show you how I'm going to do mine. I'm going to choose the yellow. So first I'm going to outline this yellow box in the top left hand corner. This is important because you are only allowed to take four actions from a specific colors deck. Uh, sorry, four actions per game. So we only have 12 turns in the game. And let's say I really wanted to go hard on the yellow. Well, I can only do that four times and then I maxed out on the yellow. So I've got yellow, so I'm going to circle that and then I'm going to do what's on the card. In this case, it's showing us to, we can color in two green paw prints anywhere we want on any dinosaur we want. So I think I want to work towards this D. So I'm going to color one. And OK, so two. now we are doing OK. So you chose the yellow card, right? All right, I did. And now, Mandy, you can also choose the yellow card. Or you okay. can choose another card. Just because I chose it doesn't mean that you can't now, as well. I think I might want to do, so correct me if I'm wrong. So I'm looking at the cards on the screen here. So the purple one allows me to color in that. Okay. Oh, that's right. To bump up the research track so that you can unlock some right. of those Right, that allows me to bump up a square. So basically I color that first one off and then it goes at the top of the page. Yes. I don't know if I want to do that right now. Hmm. Sorry, decisions. Okay, so... It's okay. This is a very, very thinky roll and write uh, game. It's not just like, oh, colors and numbers. Boop, 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 boop. No, there's so a lot So now the gray one, on. I get to color that specific. So that symbol yeah. actually on the gray card is a wild. <gasps> and on the top of your top left hand corner, you'll see that that could be either be a green, a blue, or a red. So you get to do two of those. Oh, I like this wild option. I think we'll take that. Thank you very much. Okay, so that is the card ability, and then we're going to go to the bonus square ability. So for me, I chose the yellow, and that gives me a development. So I can only, yeah, you might notice these yellow lines coming from dinosaurs to various things. Uh, that's going to help me sort of develop and unlock various bonuses and points and whatnot. So you can only draw on a line or study a dinosaur if you've actually colored in the complete dinosaur and discovered it. So in my case, I have two discovered dinosaurs, so I could draw a line on either one of them. I know those. it's really small, so people I think now, are having a bit of issue seeing it, but try your uh, best sorry. if you, uh, Ashley will kind of explain what part of the board she's in. She is trying to draw it out for you. Yes, and I'm trying to, oh, it's, the problem is that they can't see it. I have chosen this dinosaur, everybody. I just added a little arrow there. Yes, again, technology is not our friend today. Mm -hmm. uh, so Mandy, you chose the gray, and the gray actually gives you an ability to choose one of the options above it. So either a blue scientist, a red observation post, a yellow development, or a purple research. A research. But you only get to do one of those. Right, okay. How's everybody doing, hopefully? Okay. So have you chosen uh, something? Yes, I think right now I'm kind of more letting you kind of go with this one with the sheet and I'm gonna, I just, there's a lot yes. going on. So okay. you keep going. Fair. Okay, uh, so when you're ready, Mandy, you yes. can flip you know over what? a card and we'll move on I to our next action. Good. Okay, is everyone good? All right, next one. So we have another scientist going on the blue. We've got color in a red or a blue. Again, color in two yellows, or two greens, I should say. Color in two greens, and blah, 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 a scientist. Uh, so I will choose the red, just so I can show everybody what's going on. So I'm going over to my top left-hand corner. I'm going to outline the red action box. And then I'm going to perform the action on the red card. So in this case, again, I am going to color in two green sections. And I'm going to, co going to color in the dinosaur in the bottom right hand corner. And I'm sorry, I don't know the names <laughs> of these dinosaurs, but I see that many people in the chat do. So if you if you want to know, just uh, hit them up. So I've colored one and then I will color. I think I'll color this other. Long necked dinosaur in the upper area there. So I've colored in two. Then I'm going to, ah, I've lost it. Oh no. 
This is what happens when you accidentally try to erase things to make your coloring better. <laughs> uh, and then I'll show you what the red action does. So in the top left hand corner, you see there, there's like a, a red outlined rectangle. That is an observation post and those match the different areas with the observation posts in each section of dinosaurs. So you've got them, you've got uh, five different sections there. So that will allow you to color in one of the bars. So I'll start, I guess, with this one even though i don't feel great about that but i'm gonna do it uh and what that means is it's twofold the first is that for every completed triceratops is that a triceratops anyway for every completed this dinosaur i uh i discover i'll get one point if i end up filling the second observation post i'll get three points for each as well as this gives us access to allow the scientists to uh to have more scientists on board. So in order for me to color in this second scientist over here, I would have to have colored in this observation post. Otherwise I'm limited to the one there. If you look at the section below, so the one in the middle with looks like raptors, but again, I don't know. Uh, you would have to color in that observation post before you colored any of the following scientists in. Okay, so. Yeah. Oh, somebody asked what the goal of the game is. The goal of the game is just to get a lot of points. There are many ways to get points, and the, you just want to have the most. There's probably some thematic thing, but like Suzanne, I am very bad with theme. <laughs> so for this stream, I'm going to probably keep an eye on the chats. I'm going to be flipping the cards because I'm doing a lot back here, and uh, it's hard for me to pay attention. So you, right. you keep going with it. I will do yes, a solo that's play. that's what's going to happen right now. I'm, I'm, <laughs> with you, I'm with you facilitating it. That's all good. Okay. Um, if I you sure could flip can. the cards, please. Oopsie. There we go. Boop. Okay, so that on the blue card is the symbol representing coloring in any footprint of your choice, whether it be green, blue, or red. Oh, so many footprints this time around. There we go. Hopefully you can see those. You can. I'm going to show people the research track, I think. I think sure. I'm going to explore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the purple. I'm going to outline it again in the top left-hand corner. And then I am going to perform the action on the card, which is to start moving out my research track. So if you notice here above the word Demeter on your player sheet, you've got this little sort of gridded area. Uh, this is your research track. And at the top of each column, there is A, B, and C. If you wanted to unlock the scoring objectives for A, B, and C, you want to progress on the research track up into the space that leads there. So if I Let's pretend I eventually did all this. At the end of the game, I would be able to score objective B, but not A and C. Uh, but I certainly have not reached there yet. So I my first one is to do 1x. That's what the purple card does. And then I'll cross off the bonus. And then I get to do another one, which unlocks a red outpost or observation post. Uh, let's do. Let's go try Ceratops crazy. Now, we, I should probably tell you about the objectives now that you have we've played a couple turns. So the objective for A um, is that we would want to complete a certain amount of buildings, which are on the right hand side here on your player board. And unfortunately, we haven't seen any of those come up on the cards yet. Um, but when we do, I'll point those out. Objective B, you want to study or color in yellow lines. Uh, if you color in between 6 and 11, you would get 5 points, and then 12 or more, you would get 10. But again, in order for you to achieve that, you have to unlock it on the research track or by studying these Diplo dinosaurs. Um, C is observation posts, so that you would total up the value of your completed observation posts, and then if you scored between 5 and 8, you'd get 5 points, and then 9, you would get 10. And then finally, D, which is one that I think many of you might have seen that I'm trying to go for. Uh, if I color in sections with the green paw print, uh, five to eight would get five points and then nine or more would get 10. But D is a little bit tricky because you notice that the research track actually doesn't lead to D. If you wanted to unlock D, you would have to either fill in all of these dinosaurs and study them in the bottom right hand corner of your player sheet or the uh, the long necked dinosaur is above it. I have to make a note. So I have this new fancy gamer keyboard from Razer and it's very clickety clack, so I'm sorry. 
<laughs> so I'll try and mute so you're not hearing it, but that's what that clickety clack is. That's me. All right. Sorry, Ashley. Clickety clack. <laughs> and I think it's Suzanne that said that the, um, the, the way that you unlock these objectives really has you assess, like, sort of in sort of guide your strategy. So for me, right off the bat, I decided that I wanted to try to go big on the green coloring and green footprints. And then we'll see what happens. The other part I'm just gonna I'm gonna decide later. Um okay, so I think excellent. we can keep going, Mandy. Bear with me as I scoochy scooch over here. Flippy whippy. Here we go. Let's do that. Get in there. So if you're all wondering why this is so slow, it's because I have a little bit of a reach here. <laughs> so yes, the offset cards is driving me crazy. <laughs> me too, but that's okay. Because you are working so hard, Mandy, and I, and I know everybody appreciates it. Okay, so if you look at the red cards, so it looks like a rainbow from this view. Um, that is a building. Now, on the right-hand side of your uh, board, sort of near all the scoring stuff in the research track, you'll see the various buildings. They'll grant you some ability. And that building specifically, if you build it, uh, would give you an extra scientist uh, once per round or per turn when you chose to make this, did do the scientist action. Uh, I'm going to do the research though, because I'm worried. No, actually, I'm going to do the gray. So I'm going to outline the gray and then I'll show you how the gray works because you didn't see that on Mandy's sheet there. Uh, and I get to move. Mandy, can you look at the gray card? Is it three or two? I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing it from my it's view. It's a three, the plus three. So it has X three, yeah, sorry, X uh, times Thank three. You. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna go three and I'm just gonna do one, two, three, which means at the end of the game, I'll be able to score objective B, assuming that I have met the criteria. I also have my sheet, uh, Ashley, if you want then, me to hold it up for certain areas, so just let me know. Oh, okay. No problem. Cool. Thanks, Mandy. Um, and then the gray ability actually lets you do one of the actions above it. So either a blue scientist, a red observation post, a yellow development, or sorry, study, or another research track move. But as you progress in the game, these are going to get stronger. So you'll do two, three, and four of each. But when you do the gray action, you're always only going to be allowed to do one of them. So for me, I think I'm probably going to just take this little scientist here. Color him in. And now, whenever you color in a scientist, either a complete grouping or a single one in my case, you get the bonus above, which gives me another yellow. I'm going to call them the yellow lines. I'm going to stop trying to be thematic. They're just going to be the yellow lines. Gets me another yellow line, which I've used to try to unlock Objective um, D eventually. Oh, and I then see I a lot of French in. names in chat. Il y a des personnes qui parlent français. If you are, hello, welcome. Or those could be potentially the designers or the company. Not sure. Mathieu, Mathieu Verdier is ah, the designer of uh, okay. Demi. And I believe it's uh, their first Fantastic. published game. Bienvenue, which is very exciting. All right. Sorry. I had to say hello. <laughs> no, don't apologize. That's great. Um, I'm ready All right, for flippy, you to flip, flippy. Maybe. Here we go. go hopefully see those all right mandy if you could please flip oh, the purple yeah. card so it's facing just just so it nobody gets even more confused than they know what might you're talking be. about it was the right <laughs> way i don't know <laughs> uh okay so i'm gonna choose the uh blue action because i'd like to show you what happens when you fill in all the actions of a specific column in the top left hand corner of your board so first i'll do the action on the card which is to color in a little blue scientist uh, and I'm really liking this Triceratops so area. So is that the one that's cut off? No. It, the, no, oh, I see it. The, yeah. I'm trying to not do much of the stuff <laughs> in cut off the cut off land, <laughs> just that's for everybody's funny. enjoyment. Uh, and then I'm going to use the. Uh, actually, I think I unlock the column bonus first. So if you look at the bottom of this column here, there's a little arrow, and it's showing a wild color and paw print. So once you take an action from each of these um, five rows, you get a little bonus combo ability. And in this case, it lets me color in one uh, 
section of my choice. And I'm going to work towards my pterodactyl. It's funny, there's like three dinosaurs. Watching you color this on the computer <laughs> is hilarious. It's like, oh. I know, it's horrendous. I really, okay, so I know. someone I, says I, I, Niobari or Niobari, I completed all of the Brontosaurus, question mark. So I'm assuming the ones with the long necks. The ones oh. in the upper right corner with the longer necks. Yeah, so that's uh, these ones up here, Wonderful. I'm assuming. So, yeah. Yes. So you will get, um, this actually brings us to the second picture that is on the left at the top left of the okay. visual screen. Um, you will get nine points for having complete discovered every dinosaur in that species. So there is a little sort of banner above them. So you can write a little nine in there. And then Mandy, if you could please flip over the nine. Now, anybody else who completes okay, a single nine species. Be flipped. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about it here. So it becomes, because that's a static picture. Oh, right. This picture. Of course. <laughs> uh, yes. So anybody else who gets that, they'll get seven points. You get two, um, two fewer points when you complete that. So it's still an option. You just don't get as many points. All right. So I got my little column bonus. You can see I added a little check there. And now I have to do my action bonus, which is get another scientist. Woo -hoo -hoo, and we'll color in those guys in together. And because I've done both of those, I have now unlocked this. If you can see... I'm just going to make a weird little squiggle so you can see where I am on the the board, but the top left-hand corner under the action area. I've unlocked a, a color in bonus. So I am going to color in the pterodactyl's other area, which means I get points for doing the pterodactyl. And that's just a sad little three points. Three points is three points. Come on. <laughs> I suppose three points is three points. And I've written it there in okay. the banner. And again, if anybody else completes pterodactyl you'll get two fewer points so you'll end up getting one point instead of the three but as mandy mentioned that's a still <laughs> that's a still shot oh, sorry so, so which one am i flipping it. the uh the pterodactyl the pterodactyl okay. uh and then we're ready for new cards okay. i think well i am hopefully everybody is as well yeah we thought about putting all these things on the screen but then it would make it really hard to see the the cards yeah, there is a lot of information, especially with our faces. I guess we could have just not That's had our true. faces and been these. Yeah, I could have just put a faces. camera on it. Next time, we live and we learn. I think everybody understands where we're going, so it's all good. Yeah. Okay, so we're on to the next one. I really would like to start scoring some yellow lines, but I only have one completed dinosaur. And remember, if you want to draw a yellow line from a dinosaur, like color it in, you need to have discovered that dinosaur. So, oh, choices, choices. I think I will take the red outpost. So I'll action, section that off. Get to, whoa, <laughs> oh, nobody saw that. <laughs> Except everybody did. Uh, and I am going to color the bottom right, one of the little little dinos there, which unfortunately, I apologize, is cut off. Okay. Here. But it is the dino it on, on the bottom right-hand side. So, Make there you go. That whole is it these ones? Look uh, I unfortunately okay. can't see you, Mandy, because oh, yeah. there's a little delay. I believe it is. It's the one with the, the three points in between, yeah. Yeah. The one with the six, yeah. So I've colored in the one okay. next to the D. And then I do two observations, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to... So now, if I actually end up discovering a Triceratops, which right now we're not, it's not looking good, I will get three points for every one that I have completely discovered. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Thanks, Mandy. Uh, and you can flip the cards. And while you do that, I'm just going to show off another story. Because okay, I see a lot of talk about all uh, Olivier Mutu's uh, art. So I just wanted to show you what Ganymede looks like as well which is another game that was released from Sorry We Are French last year that has Olivier Mutu's art. Uh, cards are filled. Really cool. I might be able to scooch my camera over so people can see the the um, numbers if they want after, so we can take a look. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, great. Now I can do the yellow thing that I wanted to do. So I'm going to take the yellow card, outline it. I'm going to color in to red and again i'm coloring the dinos in the area that mandy showed you earlier that again is cut off color that one in and then i'm going to look at my long necked dinosaur <laughs> and maybe start you really think i would no you know what i'm going to do the triceratops <laughs> because 
it just seems silly that I'm not mm-hmm. even trying. <laughs> not even trying, I didn't exactly. Do anything there. Yeah. Okay. Ah, that's that. And then I get to draw two color and two uh, yellow lines. And I haven't mentioned this, but whenever you're doing these bonuses, you can do them in one section or you can sp- sort of split it up amongst other sections depending on whether or not you meet mm-hmm. the criteria. Uh, and I have. So now I have colored in and drawn all of my dinos leading up to that D scoring objective. So at the end of the game, I will also be scoring D. So I've got B and I've got nice. D. Uh, and okay, then okay. when you're ready, Mandy. Okay, here we go, here we go. What I love most about this game is how uh, how short it is technically, like it's just 12 turns, right? But within those 12 turns, there is so much to think about and so much to consider and so much interconnectedness of like, to score this, you need to do this, and then you need to mm-hmm. do this, right? Uh, I'm just going to wait, having some trouble <laughs> looking in these cards. Okay. That's a lot of research. And I don't feel like I wanted the research. Maybe I should. Uh, you know. So just in case, just as a reiteration for people who were watching and not missing it, I was trying to see if I could get another live feed of the numbers there. I might be able to put that up shortly. But um, the three, the four, the five, the six, the six, and the nine, it is now a one where the three was and a seven where the nine was. Okay. No problem. Thank you, Mandy. So I'm going to choose the blue card, not particularly because I want more research, but I would like to get this little bonus arrow. So it gives me one of the research track, which gets me a yellow unlocking bonus. Oh, someone says they have the Triceratops. Oh, so I got the Triceratops a couple turns ago, but given you get three points. Uh, we it's Gen Kent. We're feeling generous. <laughs> you get three points. Did I not flip it on here? Oh, is that the six? Uh, that's the Triceratops. Yeah. Oh, no, the, the Triceratops. Triceratops. My apologies. Triceratops yes, so let's six. flip that. Congratulations. So you know, the Triceratops was uh, the six on the bottom row. It is now worth four points if you get that. All right, so I am coloring in two know, of my little scientists. Little of this for you all to see, so. And again, everybody, I'm working with the Triceratops area mostly because I know that that is something that you can see. So as my bonus blue action, I colored in two scientists. So at the end of the game, I'll score six points just for having done that. Um, and I also unlocked the pterodactyl's objective, which for every one of these column bonuses in the top left-hand corner, so having each, uh, completed an action in each of the five rows, I'll get three points for each. So currently I have three points, but I'm probably going to get more. <laughs> so if you see something weird pop up on the screen, I'm just trying to get the uh, numbers to show you. So just ignore for a second. Keep going there. Just let me know when you want to flip. I'm just going to add a source really quickly. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I got it up there. Ready. So let me just, I covered your face awesome. in doing so. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. Oh, Everybody goodness. knows what I look like. There, we go. there okay. might be a little bit of light on that, but at least you have an idea of what we're what we're working with. So there you go. So I have Thank one that's Mandy. slightly updated. I had a camera floating around there, so there we go. Perfect. So that'll take over the what was there previously. Okay, no Wonderful. problem. Thanks, Mandy. And when you're ready to flip the cards, I know yeah, you've got no a problem. lot going on. I'm actually just going to so remove the gonna... other one so it's not as distracting. Look at that. This is what happens when you're behind the scenes. Whoa. If you all could see what it looks like at my desk right now, it's like a minefield. Oh, goodness. Don't touch this or you will shut it all down. And I'm sorry, chat. I can't really focus no, on teaching I'm, I'm and reading the comments. Your comments but so, hi, everybody. And thank you for joining. So you do the things. Um, okay. So we've got some... I, the blue card is actually showing the yellow building. So if you choose to build that building, anytime you get um, the the yellow non thematic <laughs> action that I don't know the name of, uh, you get to do draw one extra there. Uh, and then the red building is something similar, but you get to color in another observation post bar. I need to complete some dinos. Let's do the. <laughs> that ooh. Didn't sound good. 
<laughs> it doesn't feel good. <laughs> Um, oh, I do oh, have a goodness. question. Sorry. You know what? Um, yes. Halcyonams, mm -hmm. sorry if I mispronounced that. What, uh, when you earn a bonus from doing investigations, do you need to use the bonus immediately? Is it investigation gray? <laughs> I think it is. Let me look at my rule book. Um, yes, you do need right. to use it immediately. Perfect. I love it how uh, the chat knows all the text of the world. Like, oh, it's the gray one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you, chat. Um, also, I should mention at this point, since we're a little more than halfway through the game, uh, if you can diversify the different dinosaur species that you study, you'll get more points. There's a set, like a bit of a set collection bonus uh, that is free for anyone to score. You don't need to unlock it. Uh, so that's, I think, what I'm going to try to do because I'm feeling, feeling the pain here. Uh, so I'll choose the red. So let's outline that red. And we will color in two red footprints. And I'm going to complete this one dino simply so I can work towards that dino bonus because I don't think I'm going to get anything else from it. And then I get to color in three observation post bars. Woo. Well, let's do these two for my little baby dinos, which unfortunately, I'm sorry, it's the observation post on oh. the far bottom right hand corner that. Uh, I'm assuming it's these ones right here. Uh, so I'll just throw those up. There's a bit of a delay for you, Ashley, but I think everybody else should be able to see it. Yeah. I trust that you know, yeah. know what's going on. And then I have done the other little dino. So uh, that's you in the chat is giving us the technical terminology that we probably should use. <laughs> gray equals gray. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yes. Gray equals gray. <laughs> Merci beaucoup, <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> Um, and I should mention to people, if you're following along, you'll notice that I only have the ability to do one more red action, because that would be my fourth. So if I choose to do it, I had better make it a good one. And Mandy, you can okay, flip the cards sure, when you're ready. Uh, do that. Oof. There we go. It's just getting crazy messy here, but here we are. There we go. Oh, so many buildings, but it's so late that I think I'm going to choose a different card. Let us take that gray. And if I'm looking at this correctly, those are wild footprints, right, uh, Mandy, on the gray card? On the or gray are they blue? card. It says times two plus, and it's a gray foot. Yeah, gray three-pronged foot. That is lovely. So I will do that action, and I will color in the rest of this triceratops and I will color in I don't know the thing that I think is a raptor but probably <laughs> isn't <laughs> oh I should color in that though no, it's fine. <laughs> as Mandy would say if you're teaching the game well exactly. then you're not trying to win as well and then I get to do the gray bonus and I will choose to Boy, I guess color a little line in the hopes that maybe I'll get three points. Wonderful. Um, and you, when, you, when you're ready okay. to flip, you can flip. Should mention that some of you might be wondering why we haven't seen any purple buildings or gray buildings come out yet. And it's quite possible that they're not in our game at all. Um, each of these decks has 15 cards. And before the start of the game, we remove three cards from each deck. So there's always going to be some variability in uh, what you're seeing. So it is quite possible that the, I, th I don't think I've seen the gray at all. So I think the gray might be. <laughs> oh, there it is. Game, why are you proving me wrong? Love it. <laughs> That's so good to know. Okay. Mandy, you want to help um, me with my strategy? Yeah, to be honest, <laughs> um, sorry, that came out really wrong. No. <laughs> I've been reading chat there stuff, so I haven't really been paying attention. No, I don't. <laughs> I know, Mandy, I'm just teasing you. I am going to choose the purple, though, and I'm going to show you how to build a building. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be off yep. the screen, so maybe, Mandy, if you want to show on, on your... I'm going to build so, the gray uh, building. Uh, I don't know where and you're showing. What are the um, building below where you score the points. It looks like a little... I don't know. I don't... I Like a okay. rover. I think... I'll put it at the top. Oh, I see it. Upper right. There it is. Uh, oh, sorry. On this one here. Sorry. There we go. I think that's what you're talking about. 
So th this little rover will allow me to choose uh, once per round or per turn. I can choose a symbol and act as if it's a wild, but I can only do that once. So if I'm drawing two symbols, I have to keep one the same, but I can use it as a little um, bonus. But unfortunately, I'm not drawing anything right now. But I get two okay, so purple research. Good. Well, why don't we go here and draw a purple? Oh, I get the bonus too. <laughs> Very exciting. Now you get to see some of the combo tasticness that is Demeter. So I, from my research track, I got to color in a blue uh, pop print, and I could have used my new research uh, building to uh, to change that Has to a wild. Has anybody finished any dinosaurs? Well, if you have in the chat, let us know. So, I mean, it is kind of nearing the end, but if you did finish, then we flip those over. Absolutely. And so then, after I did that, I actually ended up completing another column which gets me um, a little bonus. So I get to color in two wild paw prints of my choice. Uh, so let's do... Halcyon M says ah! Allosaurus. Is that supposed to be like all the sources or is that actually a dinosaur? No, an Allosaurus <laughs> is a real thing. I, I don't ask me what it looks like, so, but I so know... So feel free to real. just say which number it is and I'll flip it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Try to it. Yeah. Uh, which is that one that is that's a raptor that oh i actually don't think i know what that is oh it's already completed okay oh Bron i see it all right i'm sorry i'm done having my little epiphany there <laughs> hi crystal hi kabuki kid sorry i'm trying to keep up with the chat hi Suze. i knew you were this there one. but i didn't I say hello I, yeah my brain wasn't functioning i know exactly which one it is the plant eating one okay go ahead <laughs> Great. So I think this is uh, the last yeah, turn, right? Mandy, only you only have one card left, left in the... All right, here we go. Drum right, roll, be go. something here good. Go. And there. <laughs> oh, and there's the, the gray building that I said didn't exist in the game. <laughs> For this playthrough, but there it is. Proven me wrong. All right, I really need to complete this yelly dinosaur in the bottom left hand corner. So, how can I do that? Uh, I also want to get yellow nope, points. Someone and got not, the bottom doesn't seem left to be working. Dino. Oh, for four points. Great. Okay, that's good. Congratulations. So, that's flipped, so thanks. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I also got the little baby one. What are we at with the little baby? It was a six and wasn't the Triceratops. Is it the, six, the one that was a six pointer? I, I don't know. Uh, yes, I think it's one of the six ones. Yeah, I think okay, it's the one on the far right. All right, there we go. So that one is, it's yeah. gone. I did, and you'll just have to take my word for it, chat, because you can't actually see my screen, but I promise you I'm not cheating. <laughs> uh, oi, 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 oi. Okay. Ah, oh, so many things. I think I need to take the red simply because it's the best. It's the best. <laughs> well, I was going to sing and then I decided not to. So I've used my wild ability to turn that into a, gr a blue to finish off this little dino at the bottom, which doesn't look like it's going to be helpful. But when we get to endgame scoring, I'll have discovered a dino in each species. So that will help me out a little bit. And then I need to cuddler in some observation posts. If only I scored <laughs> that, that unlocked that objective that let me do that. Uh, let's do one, two, well, three, four, even though that fourth one isn't going to do anything for me. So that is the gameplay. So before we move into final scoring, does anybody have any questions? I'm looking at the chat. I don't currently see any questions yet. Because we're going to move into scoring. So oh. now's the time to okay. ask the questions if you have it. That is the time. Uh, I will start by going th through it, and then I'll pause if anyone has any questions. So we'll start by, I'm going to be going through the scoring at the top of my um, player sheet here, starting with A and then moving right. So I did not unlock A because I didn't get the bonus from the uh, Brontosaurus, Allosaurus, Diplo, whatever <laughs> you might call it, long-necked dino. 
Uh, so I don't score any points for that. But if you did, you would get uh, five points if you built two or three buildings, or 10 points if you built four or more. Okay. Then B, I did actually unlock B because my research track uh, reached all the way up there. So I have to count all of the yellow lines and I actually forgot about this goal. So let's hope <laughs> I made it. I count all of the yellow lines that I crossed off. So I have one, two, and then I have four in the bottom right hand corner, only two of which you can see. So the base of that goal was score, is cross off six to 11 and get five points, which I did. So I'll get five points. But if I had done 12 or more, I would have gotten 10 points. Then we move on to C, which is the observation post. And I also have not unlocked that. So I won't score any points, but I'll show you as if I did, how you would add that up. So you're gonna total the value of your rightmost observation post and they have to be completed. Uh, so I have three on the top uh, left where the triceratop is, five, oh, sorry, two more. So that's five just below it, uh, one below that. And in the far right hand corner, I have one. So I have a total of seven. So if your total is between five and eight, you would get five points. And if you had nine or more, you would get 10 points. So for me, I would have gotten five, but I didn't achieve the, the ability to unlock it. Uh, next, we've got D. D is actually the number of green paw print footed sections you've colored in and the long necked dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> that were brontosaurus. We're all, I'm, I'm talking gonna, about brontosaurus. Uh, we're going with that. Okay, I'm gonna go. If Mandy says brontosaurus. We'll do that. The brontosaurus. It has um, a slash in the middle, so it could be either or. And in this case, it would count for the scoring. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have just fallen short of the next scoring point. So five to eight would get you five points, and nine or more would get you ten. And sadly, I only get five for that. Uh, then we go to the scientists, which are the little blue people. Uh, based on these um, exploration areas, the, the farthest point value that you've unlocked, you would get points. I only have six, but if you had more than one area, you would add those all together. When looking at the bottom, um, I don't know, it kind of looks like a T-Rex, but I don't think it is because it has little baby arms. Uh, but the very bottom one where the points increase from three, six, nine, and 12, you just get the, uh, the this furthest one. right one. So you wouldn't add together, you would just get uh, the highest total. All right, I kind of put it up to the camera so people can see a little bit there. Yeah. Perfect. Can you explain C? Yes, absolutely, Eric B. So C, you're totaling the value of your observation post. So notice how a completed observation post, it has a number, either one, two, three, four, or five. So the furthest right post that's completed, take that number and add it to any other completed observation posts you have. So it's hard to see my sheet, but that I finished the Triceratops, so I have three points. I'll actually write it on here. That might be okay. easier and, for and you to see. And Matthew is in the chat also explaining uh... That as well. Bet you C is the right oh, most wonderful. observation in area. You. you add all values. So, yeah. So you would add them up. Uh, so for me, I had three, and then I had, I'm going to just add them, write them here, two, a one, and then a nut. we'll just leave it at that because you can't see the other one. So I had three plus two plus one, which is six, so I would get five points. Okay, and then after we do our little scientists, which are the stars, we go to the banners. So that's for completing a full species of dinos. Uh, add up the points that you have. So for me, I have nine. So I'll write a beautiful nine here. Ooh. That's something. Why, <laughs> <laughs> you? And there's no, there's, there's no penalties for not finding a specific species. And it's always just, if you do it, you get more points. But if you don't do it, you don't lose anything uh, for not. Uh, and then we will move on to the next one, which shows 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21. That's for each different species of dinosaur you discovered. Uh, and so a discovered dinosaur is one that you have completely colored in all of its sections. So I, if you, if you do one from each exploration area, you would get six, uh, six, which is 21 points. And that's exactly what I have. So I have this one, the brontosaurus, the little guys, the bigger version of the little guy is, 
and then the ones that you can't see. So I have what? Uh, oh, oh, sorry, the I'm doctor. reading the score. Oh, Suzanne has a, a a score of 55, and Neobari has 73 points. I'm curious now, like, what are the high Wait, scores? Uh, like, 73 seems high. Like, that's pretty good. Yeah, if you already are done scoring, I yeah, know explain. I'm being slow because I'm trying to explain. But if you're done scoring, yeah. uh, please post your scores and we'll compare. The next one that you're going to do is the points on the ob completed observation posts times the number of dinosaurs in that species that you've discovered. So if we look at my Brontosaurus, I don't have any observation posts, so I don't get any points, extra points for those. Um, but for my Triceratops, I get a whopping three. So I'm just going to write that there for now. Uh, for the, the little baby T-Rexes, I have two and I've completed two, so I get four. Uh, I don't know, the bottom <laughs> one, I get one point. And then the ones in the far right corner, again, I apologize, you can't see them, but I would get six points because I've completed all of those. Uh, so 10, 13, 14 in total. Finally, you add up any points that you've gotten from your what I want to say are the yellow lines that connect to, I don't know, Mathieu, maybe you can help me with some of the theme here. I know. <laughs> but basically, if you look at the pterodactyl here, um, I have a yellow line pointing to this, I'm going to call it a book, this book, so I would score that. And any of those that you've sort of unlocked during the game, you'll score points for that one. So I have, for this book one, it's per column, and I've done both of those bonuses, so I would get uh, six points. I don't want to write in an eraser. Thank you. Six. Uh, is that all I've done? Yep. No, I got the bottom three. You can't see it. Oh, I did it. I'm talking didn't. about the ones no. uh, the that's cut off. Okay, the so bottom one that's cut off. I see what you're talking about. So I colored in both dinosaurs, but I didn't actually uh, use oh, the uh, arrows Matthew to get it. So, so I, what was it that you wanted him to uh, answer? Oh, ask. Uh, the last scoring objective, what is the technical term for that, like, stack of papers with a bookmark? <laughs> okay, so someone said That's they're all. still confused about the book scoring. Okay. Um, so let's look at the... I'm just going to clean up my board a little bit. Let's look at the Triceratops, okay? Because, again, that I know you, everybody can see. See how there are four yellow lines leading to that... Um, bookmark thing. If I had colored in all four of these lines, I would then unlock the ability to score that, which in this case is for each red card that I used in the game, I would get two points. So for me, that would be eight points because I used four. Unfortunately, I can't score that one because I didn't have any red or yellow lines colored going towards that. Um, if they have just straight points, you score straight points. The one below the pterodactyl is the same thing as the red, but for the purple cards that you used. The one below that with the blue is the same, but for the blue. And the only other one that you might need help with is the pterodactyl. And so for each bonus in the top left hand that you checked off, you'll notice there's a little check mark there that matches the symbol. For each one you did, you'll get three points. So I did two of them, so I would get six points in total. Hopefully that helps. Oh, that would have been great. So, Mathieu, did you read well, that? Oh, wow. I just... No, so Mathieu yeah, says, that should have been in Ottawa today to visit. The sister would have been easier in real life. And we both live in Ottawa, so that would have been fantastic. But you know what? You. Soon. We can set when this whole thing is not so crazy. Absolutely. That'd be great. Yeah. Uh, 10, 16, so I'm just totaling my points, ah, but I'm doing some so mini some, math uh, to help Hal, me. Hal says they thought the yellow scores were bonuses through the game, throughout the game. Sometimes they are. So the Triceratops, for instance, gives you a bonus, uh, like building to build. The Brontosaurus has a bonus that would let you color in two reds. So sometimes they are bonuses within the game, sometimes they are end game scoring bonuses. Sorry, that wasn't super clear. Um, Okay, so my score is 20, 41, 51, 57. Beat me, Suze. Uh, 
66, which is my best 97? score ever. 97? Somebody got 97. What? Okay, 62. I think that was closer <laughs> to what I used I to see. Wow, some really good scores. I won't even tell you what my first my score was the first time. It was bad. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, sort of. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Mandy, I think you had a hard, you were doing yeah. good things, but you weren't <laughs> connecting them. So it was like, you you scored really well in a section, but you didn't discover any It's like where ADHD is there. not your friend, okay? Not in a game like this. So I'm going to switch us back to the main scene, unless you have anything here you want to keep going with, Ashley. Okay. Uh, so we're back with us, too. So, oh, sorry we got off to a rough start, but I think it, it ended rather well, and apparently really well Just for fast. people who had scores of... 90s anything basically higher than 50 in my opinion is still pretty good i mean i didn't get anywhere close to that in my first game so well done <laughs> so i don't know if there's anything you want to add ashley uh i don't i love this game a lot uh just it's it's a great thinky roll and write or flip and write whatever you want to call it uh game which is nice because there are a lot of roll and write, so it's nice to have something that differentiates it from, you know, the rest of the genre and something that makes it stand out. Yeah. Plus, I love the art. I think Sorry, We Are French make great yeah. games. Like, their other game, Ganymede, is wonderful. If you haven't checked that out, you really should, because it's a really cool Tableau engine building game that is just so tight, just like Demeter. It, like, everything in this game is very tight. Absolutely. So I'm thinking this is a game I would love to run again. And actually, I would like to play next time. I know it was hard because I was trying to produce back <laughs> Fair. here. Fair. Yeah, I'm so no, sorry, it's, man. No, it's okay. You all don't want to see what it looks like back here. But I highly recommend this. And I don't know. I won't show the green. You won't see it. But Suzanne had recommended these pens. And I got them on Amazon. And they are Friction, F-R-I-X-I-O-N. And I got a pack of, like, 12 or something. I find these really help to differentiate the colors on the sheet for myself. I like the, I can say, oh, orange goes with orange or red goes with red or whatever the case may be. So I found that really helpful. And these are erasable. So they have the little erasey doohickeys at the end. So if you make a mistake, you can erase them. So thank you, Suzanne, for that wonderful suggestion. Friction. And you can get them on Amazon or I'm sure any other kind of uh, store that sells supplies, uh, work or school supplies. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for sticking with us. And uh, we look forward to trying this again or some other type of fun game. So Demeter, hopefully coming out soon. Metsu, if you're still in the chat, uh, if you could just drop that in, if you know when that's going to be available, because I'm sure a lot of people would love to get their hands on it. So I think that's it. Yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for joining thank uh, and sticking with us through that. I know it was a little bit of slog at first, We're but there. fingers crossed. We're getting there. So thank you so much. Okay. Uh, we'll see you next time. À la prochaine. Bye. Au revoir.